go. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Joffrey Gaming here. Welcome to you back to another special episode of Saga Lock. Hope we all have a fantastic day. I'm gonna take and turn off the headphones because this area kind of sucks when it comes to audio quality. So uh, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, let's get going. Let's get on with the show. We got a Barry the Vulpix with our very keep hitting the wrong buttons. Barry the Vulpix with our that's that's a Vulpix. Yep, that's what it is. That's definitely a Vulpix. Barry, <laughs> they jump up with Miracle Seed, Giga Drain, Waterfall, Drill Pack Sport. We have Vulpix the Vulpix, which is really Kumara with Needle Arm, Flamethrower, Miss Ball, Water Spout. We got Ronda the Machamp with Super Power, Angel Power, Sludge Bomb, and Triple Kick. We got Kaylee Dun Dun the Dun Sparse. Wow, I have not done this in way too long, and you guys can already tell. With False Swipe, Torment, Earthquake, Rock Smash. We got Spectre the Magneton. Arum, the Vaporeon, and that's it. So anyway, our team is very interesting. I like our team a lot, but there is some troubles arriving in paradise. As uh, so we have to go to the Weather Institute because it's raining and uh, rain is no good. Um, trust me, I live in Washington. I would know. Rain's annoying. Um, anyways, <laughs> um, it actually hasn't been raining a lot here, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice to get a break from the rain. But yeah, I hope y'all are having a fantastic day, as I am. Um, we're just doing a basic recording session today. Uh, Jonas is doing one, too, so I said, boy, I'll do one as well. Uh, we failed the Arcanine encounter, which I spoke about uh, on stream, but I never actually said it in song log. So what I did is I tried to attempt my encounter, because I figured, okay, attempt to buy a counter, not really a bad idea to do, and it makes kind of the most sense logistically. Um, to just attempt my encounter and go with it and yeah so we failed it it roared me out surprise that's kind of what our man likes to do um and yeah so we still need the firestone and it's still kind of a pain in the butt that we have to deal with trying to find a firestone but we're getting closer to one i believe i believe i can buy one in the department store if you can't buy one in the department store that's kind of really sad but I highly doubt they would do that to you, where they would, like, not make it so you couldn't do it. Um, I trained the team um, across the board to level 36. I hope you guys don't mind that I did that, because I figured, you know, the team needed a little bit of training. Getting into level 36 is not bad. It's not a very level. It's fine. Um, and when we go ahead and fight Wynona, we're going to have to level up again. Anyways, so... <laughs> I figured get this team trained up to level 36 that way we can kind of just roll with the punches and yeah so I think we did a really good job getting the train the team kind of well-rounded except for Volbex because Volbex you really can't do anything with or else it'll die so <laughs> we don't want to lose Volpix so I didn't let Volpix die so I'm sure you guys can understand why I did what I did and yeah, we're just gonna be out here. We're gonna chill. We're going to the Weather Institute, doing the Weather Institute. And then we are probably fighting May and getting to the town in this episode. And I don't necessarily know whether or not what level May is. So I'm gonna just, you know, do the fights that I know I should be doing in the first place and getting leveled up for May because May is a scary son of a gun. Camera. Ooh, I don't like that. Well, actually, I kind of do because that gives experience to arm. Um, because we gave arm surf, right? I'm not. I wasn't dumb enough not to. Yeah. Okay, we did. Cool. I was like, I swear, if we did not actually do that, that would have been in the butt. Uh, but yeah, we're getting experience. We're hanging, hanging out, doing the thing, doing the do. But anyway, here's something interesting. So I've been getting a little bit more into baseball lately, which is really weird because you know it's not like it's not football at all. Um, but yeah, so I've been getting into it, and of course, I like, I don't, I just am like being like a homer here and being like the home team is like, so the Mariners have never been good, right? It's been 20, over 20 years since they made the playoffs. They have the longest playoff drought in any major sport history. They're not looking, they're not going to make the playoffs this year, but it's interesting to kind of look at this team and see what this team does. Because they're turning into the freaking Seahawks. I don't know. I, I, okay. So, I, of course, I've been a Seahawks fan forever. Um, as you can tell by my second all for the 12. Everything's basically Seahawks. This is Seahawks. Like, everything is Seahawks. And it's been like that since I was seven. So, 
Yes. So I was looking at the Mariners, and they lose against teams that they really shouldn't ever lose against. Um, like, it's hilarious. And it's, it's a continual hilarity, um, right? Because they... So the Detroit's not a good team this year, right? They're, right now, their Mariners are 37 and 36. They're in the bottom of the eighth inning. And it, or actually, no, they're top of the ninth now. Um, and it's eight, two to two, right? This is not against Detroit. This is against the Tampa Bay Rays, who literally won the World Series last year. On top of the fact that they still had boasted the best record in the freaking MLB and were on pace to sweep them 4-0, but the Detroit Tigers, a team who was doing terrible throughout the entirety of the year, we went 1-6 against them. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, okay. And then say, our, one of our biggest notable series losses is against the Rangers, who literally are 25 and 45, so they're not a good team either, but they're a notable win. But yet we split against the Dodgers. It's like, Mariners, we won a series against the Giants. Like, what? What are you doing? Like, <laughs> clearly you're a good enough team to do things, but you just see so, like, I can already imagine us sweeping the Rays and then getting swept by the Rockies literally in a couple days. Like, I can already kind of see that happening, and it'll be hilarious, not hilarious, because it's like, okay, like, the Rockies are one of the bottom teams in the league. We lose to them, but we beat last year's world champions handily. Like, okay. Like, and that's basically how this season has gone for us this year. Like, top of the night, it's still 2-2. Two two. Yeah, like, like, what the heck? Like, that's literally been how this series has played out. And it's just awkward. Like, I know we beat them in extra innings, the Rays twice, but still, the fact that we made it to extra innings and then won is crazy enough. Um... Sorry for y'all who aren't really baseball fans. I'm like, like I said, I'm still getting into it, so I still don't know like the specifics and like the stuff. Um, but it's just weird and hilarious to me. Um, and so I figured, you know, why not bring up the hilarity and in sports, just like in general. Like I feel like this is just a big sports thing. And being that I'm into sports and like sports, it makes sense for me to talk about. But. Yeah, so it's just been very hilarious this season. Um, and actually having a team that has a shot is cool. But that's not what I'm worried about. Like, I'm like, oh, cool. We won with the things. We're looking better as a team. Better than we have since 2017 when we actually went and had a winning record of like 91 and 87. Uh, but I don't actually, I can't sit down and watch baseball. I don't know. Like, there's some sports that you just can't sit down and watch. But you can get like the updates and be like, Oh, that's cool. Like, like I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not a big, oh, this is Jonas' season. I'm, I'm not a big, like, I can't sit there. Like, football, I can sit there and watch. Baseball, I can't. Um, and I've tried a couple times, like, but it's just, like, so, a lot of it's just the slowness of the game. Um, but I can see, like, the appeal for playing the game. Like, I can totally see playing the game, but I could not not watch it just something that i can't do i just don't have the patience for it um because football just seems to have stuff going on and basketball too like i can sit there and watch a basketball game but i don't get access to those channels most of them um plus you know just the weird running commercials and like weird spots like like in football again football makes sense because where they place the commercials what they do but a lot of the times i will give the commercials are stupid and long as hell can be um but yeah so anyways i can keep up with baseball and kind of know what's going on and i don't need to be engrossed in it like that's that's a nice feeling to kind of have to do thanks we're safe but you don't have any room for the pokemon even though we have a freaking pc here 
What do I, I watch us get like watch me be complaining and then us get like a god tier Pokemon? Okay, I'm gonna put uh, Vulpix in the box real quick. Even though we can't do this, we can't do a full team replacement. We just have to do it this way for the fact that we have to get a Pokemon. And of course, it doesn't let you name it. It's Sammy! <laughs> gotta be named Sammy even though it's a female book. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I was not ready. Oh my gosh. So that's hilarious. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah, Sammy literally is next on the team if something dies, I would say, because, oh, <laughs> oh my god, Sammy's just holding the mystic water, <laughs> oh my god, Sammy out here being full circle today, jeez, Sammy, holy cannoli, Batman, Dude, Sammy, you're amazing, okay? I want, I kind of want something to die so that you can be on my team because you cracked my team already. But sadly, that ain't how it works. Because I can't just kill something and then have it be on the team. No, sadly. Sorry, Joy. You know how it works. There's been a lot of Pokemon that I've actually wanted on the team that I have to wait until something dies for, but. Could totally happen if May has a Dragonite now. Cause I I can see that now because hip, typically her starter is fully evolved by this point. So I'll be curious to see how it plays out. Nidorino, okay. Nidorino's not a problem. Um well, kinda is, because we don't have anything for it. But let's see. I don't know what we can do with the Nidorino, actually. Um I'm gonna go actually yes I do. Kaylee has Earthquake. John. Easy. Simple. Stupid. Duh. Yes. Okay. So, oh! That's gonna do half of Kaylee's health. Hmm. Holy cow, okay. Maybe a death is gonna happen sooner than I think. Because that did way too much damage. But no, actually, dude, Sammy's gonna be so helpful. Sammy's gonna have ice type moves for this Dragonite that eventually is gonna happen. May, we need to talk. No. Not allowed, May. Absolutely, positively, not allowed. Uh, uh, uh. Spectre, you know what to do. You freaking know what to do. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Nope. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. I don't need to see this. Um, also, I got my handy dandy diatonic water because literally, well, I don't know why I like it so much, but it's like one of my favorite things ever. So, <laughs> it, it's kind of a problem, but. Mm -hmm. Now nah, it's a dragon, right? Great. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's here. Hmm. Don't have an ice type move on anybody. I think Spectre is still our best bet because I don't have an ice type move. Barry's got Spore, but Barry can't do anything after Sporing. So there's no reason to be it, go in with Barry. Plus, super effective. Super effective against Rhonda. So. Yeah, I think Spectre's the best bet, as much as I don't want to say that. So yeah, so it is how so that uh, good to know like how the rival fights work too. 
that the rival fights work like the exact same way as if it was the not rival. Oh, that's gonna help with the flying typing, but we don't know if it has any flying moves, so let's hope it doesn't. Oh my god, that does nothing. Okay, you're continuing to Dragon Dance. Again, that scares me, but you're not using moves, which means you're not registering that there's a kill available. Yet, at least. I need the para now so I can be faster. Mm. You still haven't registered that this is a kill. Yes! Oh my gosh, that was that. We avoided that. We avoided what could have been so much trauma. Trauma? Gotta get that trauma fixed. Jeez, John, what is with the pronunciation there? <laughs> uh, thank goodness that you did not have anything for us. And thanks for giving us fly because we definitely needed that. Um, I believe that this becomes a new route somewhere. Or has it already become a new route? I just didn't notice it. It could be both. No, it's still 119. Oh, that's right, because the next route's 120. Dogs! Um, you, this is a force trainer battle, so, oh my god. Sometimes I just don't think, and other times I'm just like, what? Thinking exists? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's like, no. Oh. Shoot. Those aren't good berries. Those are like Greffin berries, I believe. Well, here, welcome to Fortree. Tree. We're gonna get our Fortree Tree City encounter. Um, and talk to, uh, Steven, get that encounter. So we got two encounters to get. Wow, excuse me. We got two encounters to get, so that's good. Um, and I literally switched out of berry for no reason, because I, I was like, oh, there's a force trainer battle here. No, there's not, actually. <laughs> Dude, Sam, getting Sammy on the team, though, that's so nice, because Sammy evolves, I think, in, uh, into Celio pretty soon. Um, and then evolves into... Um, wall rate at 44, if I'm not mistaken. Joy could probably confirm that, but I'm, I don't need Joy to confirm that. I, I have a... I have a feeling I'm right here. And if I'm not, then I'm not, which is fine with me. Um, because... All I know is that at this point, if something dies, Sammy's hopping on the team. And that's what matters. So, you know, because I respect Sammy as a good Pokemon. It's why I hate freaking fighting it. Uh, and that's why it's my natural born enemy. But I'm not going to just sit here and tell you it's a trash, like, battling Pokemon. It's not. It's just my worst enemy and my worst rival. And that's why I don't like it. Um, but it's Sammy. And you got to give credit to Sammy where it's due. Um, do I really freaking care about this Meowth? No. <laughs> I know that's so sad. Then this male probably is really angry with me for that. But I mean, I have to be just brutally honest. Do I care about it, Meow? No, because I think our team's just fine as it is. And we have two static level 30s. So there's no reason to worry. Um <laughs> Like honestly, I'd rather try and my hope at the static level 30s rather than a meow. So the static level 30 number one is a elect kid. Crap. <laughs> uh, I mean. Oh, it's got vital spirit. Nope. Don't care. Um, Electabuzz evolves. Like, I think, I don't know how it evolved, but I probably could have gotten free Electabuzz. But it's okay. I think. I like my team, and then I just need to have one good replacement, which I don't have right now. Um, and we'll be fine. I just need to hope to get one. Plus, there's another encounter right here, so this Davin scope could have given me something better. We'll find out. Because I get both of these, but I just decided not to catch either of them. The last one is a Flitteri on that species. Do I want to call it species, though? Because I have the option. It's got Intimidate. That's not bad. Mm. 
I think I'm gonna go for this one. I think I'm gonna go for it. Um, I'm going to definitely 100% switch out to Kaylee, but I'm going for it. There's no reason not to gun for this Pokemon. It's a Flareon. It's a decent Pokemon. Oh, holy Good thing I don't have to worry about that at all. Spite. Okay, Spite's a weird. Okay, so it's got Guillotine and Spite. This moveset's not making me happy. Slack off. Is this moveset just going to be absolute, complete trash? Probably is. <sighs> Probably is going to be absolute garbage. But... I guess it never hurts to try. <laughs> but we'll find out. One, two, three, Bob. Yes, okay. Thank goodness we caught it pretty quickly. Um, the reason why I went down here in the first place is to see what that item may be in store because if it's a Firestone, then we'll be set. I'm naming this. Liz. Even though it's a male, fiery spirit, and we already named something arm, so can't really name something arm twice. <laughs> I mean, I did name Joy twice. I get it. It's fine. I did name Joy twice after all, but still. Anyway, that is a perfect way to end this episode. Next episode, we are going to go ahead and fight Winona. And head our way down to the Lily Cove Department Store so we can have a night house now! Yeah! Anyway, hope we can have a wonderful, wonderful day after that cringy way to say that. Love you all. Bye!